Um, this is um, a, a thing that people, um, I think I mentioned it in another video about people seeing it as this cutting loose thing or letting go thing. Um, as a, as a, as a, uh, a difficulty, you know, it's totally understandable. I mean, the, the you think about every medium that you use, uh, or most mediums that you use, there is a, there is a, a tendency to control it, to want to control it, you know, from the, from the very first sort of lines that you put on graphite into the, if you're going to paint, you're going to paint within the lines and make it very control. And uh, and then and then um, you know the application of it begin, it all becomes a process of control. I was thinking about this during the, the the lessons this week, where it gradually becomes more and more focused, more and more controlled towards the end, and um, and and subsequently it almost drives out any kind of um, life that was in it. You know, somebody said the other day about this. Uh, so for some reason, I like my early. Um, marks and sketches more and paintings more than the finished thing and uh, yet I hear that all the time and basically it's because when you first start it's when you're most connected um, and so you're going to be capturing the more truer life elements at that point and that as artists is all we endeavour to do is to capture the life of something whether it's you know a face a figure a landscape whatever um, and the, and the way we do it with still life is to manipulate the light because it's the light that brings the life to a subject regardless of what it is and uh, so but it's it's that thing of precision you know not letting yourself go and there are some people that do it by you know, deliberately they paint with a certain number of colors with a certain size brush and they make and it's 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 the right idea but it's a bit of a contrivance i think uh I always think that if, you know, if I do something that um, um, the, uh, the, I'm doing the, the dots thing, as you can see now. So that's, that's, that's my, my dots thing. I've got the, um, uh, I'm doing it a little bit slower than I normally would, but just, just to make the point, I think. Um, but uh, yeah, so so the point is that if the lines or the marks that you make are um, almost um, exactly the same every time, so the mark is this and it's this and it's this, you know, in the kind you can tell digital painting as opposed to real painting because the, even when it looks like some amazing charcoal done in, on, uh, say, Procreate, you can see that the marks are the same. There are so many marks. Or just scan over the drawings or scan over the paintings and watch to see the marks, similarities between, you know, on a painting. So you'd see, if someone painted something like that in Procreate, you'd see exact marks. The marks that made that will be the same marks that made that. And that's what, that's how you can tell. So it's it's the, um, it's that lack of uh, um variance that lack of uh, unpredictability that i think gives it away and i think that that if if that's what i'm after is uh, something that's going to be um um i, I suppose unique and, and um and and pure i, I always sort of think of it as this pure thing i don't think it's a, the right word to use but but it's it, i always think of it as something that's got to be have that essence of of, uh, of uh, ambiguity and um, it's a tightrope between, I did write this quote about it being a tightrope between, uh, you know, uh, uh, suspense and and uh, and, uh, and, uh, and, uh, and success. It's like, you know, the sort of anticipation that you feel because it, it may not work, you know. Um, and I think you've got to be on that, but you've got to be on that edge. You have to be there. But, but the um, the bottom line is that, there is no, you have nothing to lose and everything to gain with this. So, so just, you know, letting yourself make marks that, that uh, are not controlled and um, seem um, 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 random, 
um, and and against any kind of any kind of thinking that oh it's got to be it's got to be precise and it's got be all that sort of thing. Uh, to let yourself make marks, to let yourself go to do that, um, especially with charcoal, because charcoal is um is one of those mediums that it has there's an element of serendipity with charcoal. There always is. It's always like you know, particularly when you use sort of homemade stuff. Is, is it going to work? Is it not going to work? And it's it's that is it going to make the mark dark enough, or is it going to if it's going to um, um, you know when you sort of you make marks and all of a sudden it changes in the um, in the way that the mark or the mark becomes. I mean, obviously this is control, but but you might might make a mark that all of a sudden is no longer um, as as thick or as dense as it was. Um, all kinds of reasons. I say, if you're if you're within control areas, then obviously you're controlling the uh, uh, the direction, the flow, the you know the attack and the and the pressure and all that sort of thing. But if if it's in that um, that moment of um, initial um, investigation, then chances are you're not considering too much those things. Um, there, for instance, that was a. Uh, a controlled those are control marks because that's i was thinking about pressure velocity and and um an attack there but but not not always or sometimes there are it's, it's like i said last week with the uh, the video but i think i mentioned about the, the way that um the lines meander and all of a sudden you find a point which which you want to exaggerate um and that that as i said is is partly um um contrivance and partly the the contra uh, the um, the letting go of the of the uh, the charcoal for a few minutes you know for a few minutes for a few seconds you let it meander and then you you trigger it you know you pull the trigger and make the mark but but the thing is that in between all that if you're trying if you're trying to control it in between all that in between those lines that were just you know you kind of as i said feeling your way around um then you don't get anywhere with it. You have to let you have to let it go. You have to let it really, um, like I say, meander across the paper, and then and then, as I said, when you find the point. Now, I, I the consequence of that for me is that I get this flow of of lines. So so, and I said this early on when I was figuring it all out about. I like to keep the charcoal on the paper for as long as possible because it brings something that's like a um, um, a um, um, more body to it. There's some, somehow the marks that are on there, even though they may be wrong marks and they may be, and I, as I said before, I like the wrong marks. Um, uh, there is something about the extra lines that appear, the extra tones that appear that become probably absorbed within the tones this is the thing about people say to me how come we don't use a rubber that much and all these initial lines are um, are gone um it's because they get, they get absorbed it's the hierarchy of of um you know that thing about when you draw and you and you work through a drawing suddenly the marks that matter that become darker they become the dominant lines and all the the previous lines which were just your initial sketches or, sc or scribbles they get absorbed visually they don't necessarily get really absorbed but it's that is a hierarchy of, you know a visual hierarchy of the of the marks but um but it, it, it it's partly that with the charcoal and it's partly because i think the um the um The charcoal has this uh, ability to create this, you know, um, body, you know, more of a tonal sort of thing um, that, you know, that, that, that has all this. So uh, and you can see some of it in there um, as I'm pushing this charcoal around. Now, this this charcoal is not a particularly good piece of charcoal. It, it's, it's scratchy and it's dusty and it's... Um, and it's it's fragmenting as well. I can feel it sort of falling apart underneath the uh, when I'm putting any pressure on it. But it's got it's also got this um, added. It's got grain in it as well, which you'll see in uh, in, in some charcoal. Um, I I I found that there was a lot of grain in ivy charcoal. You know, um, it's just that when it's when it's dense wood, 
normally there isn't that much there isn't that much in it that's um you know the fine grain of the of the wood but um this one is i don't know what this one is i think this is sycamore this one so it might be that that's the reason or it might just be that it was an old piece of chalk or an old piece of wood old wood tends to turn to dust quite easily um but as i said the the um the let and go thing which is it is everybody has problems with it because you know you've got this pressure on yourself to perform to sort of do a a great you know even if it's not somebody else's pressure it might it's going to be yours and it's it gets in your head and all of a sudden you know you're wanting to perform in a certain way you know you produce something that's uh, uh, to a standard that you think it should be um uh, and so that goes again it goes so immediately you're wanting to control the outcome for that very reason you can't you can't possibly just have a black blast and just scribble all over the thing and uh, and it worked because it won't as in your eyes it, it will work but you you've got to you've got to trust that that will happen um and if it doesn't happen who cares it's that kind of thing so unless you've got that um approach to it cutting loose is always going to be hard it's always going to be difficult to just you know let yourself go um i think part of part of it is as well is that it's almost like um you need permission to do it i said it the other day about this you know everybody can do this it's just you gotta give yourself permission to do it i think that that's probably one of the the biggest problems is that um i know as you know as a um all my life as an artist i know that it's always felt like stealing you know, when I when I found time to draw or or to or to um, just sit and spend a couple of hours doing a drawing, it always felt like I, sh I should be doing something else. It was always like, and, that, and that's a psychological thing. Somewhere deep down, that's been programmed into me to say this is a waste of time. You should you should be doing something else. You should be doing something that earns money, or you should be doing something that, that you know, fixing the house, cutting the lawn, whatever. Um, and that 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 is a, a a reason for not cutting loose as well because unless it's productive unless it's a, there's a positive outcome to it then it will definitely seem as a waste of time so so there's all kinds of psychological problems i mean certainly from my point of view those are the that's the case of me it's always been a case of um feeling guilty to do this which is which is crazy i mean what what kind of parents let that you know that be the case with your child when they've got clearly got something they enjoy doing and you want to tell them that it's a waste of time or you know or, or let society tell them that and you do nothing to re to uh, address that that um, that thing so it's 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 a crazy messed up thing um and i and i say it manifests in everything it man it certainly manifests in doing this um um and more so with a medium like this, because the, the the thing about charcoal is that it's very responsive to your um, your mood, uh, your uh, um, your psychology towards doing this. It's very responsive. Not so much with pencils, because with graphite you can you're in you're in a kind of um, controlled environment, and anything can be you know sort of um, fixed and. Uh, um, made to look uh, um, you know uh, to uh, like an acceptable outcome you can you can do that with graphite because you've got infinite control and um, and it's easily fixable as well so it, it's, it's 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 just more so with charcoal because the lines are um, so uh, visceral so connected so responsive the charcoal does in a way particularly if you're using say a big thick piece of charcoal try try always to draw with thicker pieces of charcoal never try because you might say well if you're using fine charcoal you might as well use graphite so if you're using nice big lumps of charcoal um you'll find that it's it, you will feel the um this um responsive thing this more responsive um um mark making you'll see it and, and i suppose that's why i talk about putting life in the drawing to start with 
you know, it, the life enters now. It doesn't enter at the end of it. The life enters now, which is again back to this thing about people saying, "I always like my uh, uh, my drawings or my paintings before, uh, you know, in the early stages." And that's because the life is entering it right at that at those early stages. So, so that, as I said, is is probably um, a good thing for for charcoal. You know, it's a great thing for charcoal. It's the thing that you 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 um, it's, it most people struggle with because it's it's just you know it's, it doesn't seem right that you're just gonna you know throw charcoal around in a kind of you know uncontrolled and crazy way uh, and it's gonna work but um but it only works if you if you give into the the um um the idea that this is a connected a connected process it, it doesn't work if it's if it's not a connect if it's not about being connected to the subject um, if it's just simply a replication thing, then you need to you need to be um, connected. You need to be uh, precise, and you need to be controlled, and you need to be all those things. It doesn't it doesn't work when you know if that's the case. But if it's not, if it's just a, a um, an expression, a gestural thing, then you really need to um, to let the the charcoal or your your mood and your your psychology manifest in the charcoal. Um, um, but you know, it's a it's a, it's a complicated thing, but it's not a complicated thing. Um, it's it's one of those things. It's it's a happiness thing. You know, you're either you're happy or not. You decide, and it's kind of like that in a way. You decide on whether or not this is going to be your response to somebody uh, to a face. Uh, you decide on all those things. You decide on the how the um, the marks are going to work. It's all down to you, um, and that. As I said, is is the hardest thing. It's the it's the it's the letting that manifest thing, and um, and not worrying too much about whether or not you know there's a I've got the exactness of his, his brow there or or whether or not it's just quite the right sort of angle or whether. It, I mean, I'm going to get to a point where I will start to worry about those things, but not until um, he's you know he got the the life of the face in there. Um, and I'll correct everything and I'll, you know, sort of move things around and what have you. But one of the nice things about this is that um, in this journey, because this is really what this is um, towards uh, capturing this face, um, you get all this other stuff happening. You get lines that shouldn't be there. You get you get a lot of sort of tones that, that either I've, I've pushed around or um, are just are a consequence of something else. Uh, and sometimes those things work, you know, they, they actually um, bring something to it. Um, and they don't, they don't detract from the objective of capturing this, the essence of this face. And that, and that in a way is, is a no, serendipity thing I talked about with charcoal, because there is, there is a lot of that. You, is a, if you, if, if you're um, connected and you're doing the, you know, you're allowing the, uh, the thing to be more, responsive then then there is going to be a lot of marks that imply and suggest as opposed to illustrate um and that that for me is the big thing i mean i see lots of um famous um charcoal artists doing their thing and um the amount of control that they've got is is phenomenal um but there's not enough out of control for me, I think that's the thing. There has to be a a, a good deal of out of control mark making for me for it to look anything like it was uh, um, more than just a contrivance, more than just a, a learned behaviour. Because that's one of the things these these charcoal artists have spent, as I said before, thousands of art hours um, rehearsing, practicing, whatever you want to call it, and um, it's inevitable that they're going to. You know they're going to produce something that's great um but the, for me the greatness is in the unpredictability it's not in the it's not in the uh, predictability um from a personal point of view i just i it's, it's always going to be about i didn't mean to do that but look how good it is <laughs> you know what i mean it's that and i and i've said it before but i like i just like the the surprise element of it i just like the idea that that it, it actually worked out you know and actually actually i'm pleased with that you know and i'm pleased with it for the right reasons i'm not pleased with it because it's met some criteria which is another 
another issue because that's the that's locked into the why can't you uh, just let go because it has to be as good as so and so or it has to be as good as the, uh, you know as 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 i want it to be and sometimes you never know what you how good you want it to be and that's another issue you know so your uh, how you decide on your your success or not is um, another one of those um entanglements of um conditioning and uh, exposure to uh, whatever words or or images that that uh, you come across whether it's uh, it's deliberate or not so i i'm i'm uh, um initially when i'm going to swap piece charcoal because that's a bit fat now. so uh, initially when i uh, i did it as i said before many times i didn't um i purposely didn't look at other artists um so I did. I did to start with. To be honest, I did to start with. I thought, Christ, this is going to be, pardon my French, this is going to be um, a bit of a struggle um, because you, you just can't get it out of your head. You know, you, you when you look at um, some, some of them, I mean, I, I can't name them, but you know who they are. They're just their work is just breathtaking, and it's like, and you think, oh my God, that's never. I'm never going to be anywhere near as good as that. But the the the. Um, the very fact that you consider that is the issue, you know, um, and that that's the problem. It's, it's almost like there are standards in, in everything, but there are standards in being a charcoal artist and uh, and drawing charcoal rather, and and you've got to, you've got to you've got to be you know that to that standard, and that's uh, that's always going to be that's always going to be a, a, a stick to beat yourself with. But it, this is this is the, the letting go thing. The letting go thing is is always about um but well, i won't be able to do it as good as that if i let go i won't be able well, who knows you might be able to you might be able to but who, who wants to be as good as someone else who wants that who wants that i want to be as good as me i want to be i want to be the person that makes as it sets the standard i don't want to be i don't want to be somebody else's um look alike he wax works you know madam, i don't want to be somebody else's madam to swords you know because they never look very good do they, those things so I don't want to be somebody else's man who does all waxworks. I want to be my own. I want to be my own waxworks. But um, no, it's 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 the the cutting loose thing is is definitely a. It's, it's, I've just done it on this. You can see, 